y'all, Hannah here, AKA Noisy Butters, and I'm here for the second most wonderful day of the year, behind the birthday of the chicken nugget, whichever day that is, but today, it's Intel Gamer Day. To celebrate gamers all over the world, Intel is teaming up with their partners for giveaways, exclusive discounts, and more. And part of that more is me here building this beautiful Intel-themed PC. We're gonna be using the Intel Core i7-14700K processor. And also including the Sparkle Luna Intel Arc A770 GPU. Look at how beautiful of a masterpiece this is. Gorgeous. Let's hop into the build, but first, I need more chippies. I have a chippy here and a chippy here. Chippy there, I need more. There's a chippy hiding in the tall grass. Perfect, he's gonna be joining us. Do you see his bow tie? He put on his bow tie for the occasion, for such a beautiful occasion. But let's hop into the build. Okay, I'm gonna move the PC case to the side as we prep the motherboard. Sorry, chippy, you can stay with your other chippy friend. So we're gonna lift up the CPU cover. I'm gonna try and make this thing jump. Roby Tech taught me how to make it jump, so oh, well, it's not gonna jump, it already fell off. So we're gonna be installing the Intel Core i7, 14700K. Great CPU, I have built with it before. Give it a little wiggle, it's good. Gonna put that down. Push this down. We'll do RAM. Next, we're gonna go two and four. That's usually, I should consult the manual, but. Oh, that's good. Can I do it again, though, is the question. That was better. It was a little crunchy, but we'll go with it. RAM is installed, so we're good on that. You know, whenever I build PCs, I can't help but think about how many I've actually built. And at this point, I used to be able to count it on my hand, but now I can't, which I guess is a good sign, right? Would you look at that? That was really quick. It's like it's a part of the name. But yeah, I built, I don't even know how many PCs I've built now. I think it's in the 20s to the 30s. And that makes me really happy to know that I've had opportunities to be able to do this, so. I remember being super nervous building my first one, and now I'm just, I am zipping through this, truly. I think by this point, I would have probably clicked in one RAM stick on my first build. If that, I, I probably would be too scared to even start. So we slide this into place, which I am not particularly good at Tetris. You would think as a gamer I would be. I did pretty good there, I would say. All right, next up. Move this to the side. Beautifully prepped motherboard. We'll save the peels for uh, when it's actually in the case. And we won't forget any like I have on any of my past PC builds. I don't wanna talk about it. Nice little rubber grommets. I like how it's like design-wise, I like how it's a zigzag. I don't think I've seen that in a PC case, but I quite like that. Make sure I didn't pin any. Nope, we're good. And that begins the fun task of finding the screws that I just found. <laughs> These ones, yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Perfect. And with every PC build that I do, I personally like to not get the fan cable stuck, but I do corner, 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 mostly because it prevents it from rolling down flat like this, but instead it goes down more evenly like this. Uh, I learned that when I worked at Fry's Electronics. That was a point in time in my life, back when I was 19 years old. That was a decade ago. No, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. I refuse to believe that. Now let's see if I can get this. It's always this top screw that angers me. Okay, we're gonna do, we're gonna be doing intake. We're gonna do that. Cable's in the back here. Put you here. Take you. That is a tight fit, but it's gonna work. <laughs> Gotta put all my strength into it. Feels like I'm giving this thing a hug, like a little pep talk. Hmm. It's at an angle. No wonder I was having problems, that makes sense. Believe it or not, it is okay to make mistakes while building a PC. Because normally, you can recover from them. Normally. Beautiful. And now, now it's time to make everybody mad with the thermal paste application.
Now, I don't want to brag, but I should absolutely be an artist after that. Never mind. <laughs> after just leaning back and looking at it, it'll work just fine. It's not the prettiest, but it doesn't have to be. I usually do a little mushy. I don't know if it helps at all, and I don't know where I heard that from. And then once again, I'm gonna do corner, 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 while also holding down the pump to make sure that it doesn't come up and create any air bubbles, because that is not good for thermals. Beautiful. So let's plug in the AIO pump. I plug in. RGB, little three pin. Went ahead and installed the AIO and the pump itself. I plugged in a couple of cables, but I'm intimidated. So we're gonna take a break and work on the front panel connectors. So let's remove the back panel. Get to work on that. I keep on assuming this Captain Morgan stance with this Apple box. I need to get me one of these for my studio. Wow, just look at that, I was right. <laughs> I'll be curious to see which cables I connect for the uh, for the fans and stuff, because there's, there's a lot going on here. Okay, that'll work. Let's do, since I've done all the front panel connectors, let's maybe take a little break. Let's work on the power supply. I'm not gonna drop it forcefully like I did the power supply cables. Oh, it's one of the side ones. Oh, that's cool. So this is in the back, and then this is on the side, so it's better for cable management. I built with one of these before, and they're actually fantastic. Now the most satisfying part is clicking them in. Okay, I might want to get the clicks on this one. I'm not getting clicks and I'm sad, but that's okay. <laughs> as long as it works. There we go. And I think we need SATA. I'm gonna use this fan splitter. I'm going to go ahead and plug in the rest of these fans here in the back. It's quite a bit of a spider web. So let's. Back to power cables. The big old power cable will go get in there. I assume turn around so you can see me plug it in. Through the power of editing, you all have no idea this is taking me a lot longer than what it actually seems. <laughs> Behold, all the cable management I have to do, but you're not gonna see most of it because I'm gonna do a sneeze transition. You ready? Here we go. Ah, chew. Man, I don't know what's in the air today, but we got our back panel on. <laughs> Sorry. Next up, graphics card. So let's go ahead and it's gonna be going into this top PCIe slot. It should be. It's a door. The only slots. Yep. I hope I get a nice click with this. Let's see. That was pretty good. I'm loving this. Let's go ahead and get everything back and assembled. Is it? What in the world am I looking at? Oh. Oh, I see now. And now it is time for the most important test of all, the actual first power on. Let's hope for the best. I for one am very hopeful. Wow. All the fans spinning? Yeah, they are. Oh, I feel very cool right here. This is nice. I might use this as my own air conditioner, honestly. Do you see the, do you see the wind blowing in my face? Do you see it? Thank you so much for hanging out with me today for Intel Gamer Days. I hope that you find some deals that you like, and I hope that you enjoy the wonderful hobby of PC building and gaming. Thanks for stopping by.